Okay, let's start. Number one. Okay. So we have number one, the two, the two pairs of insect wings when present are located in blank. So yun, two pairs of insect wings. Ano yun, when the two ins, uh, when the, the wings is present, sorry. So the correct answer is letter B, it is the met mesothorax and metathorax. Okay. Next, number two, termites have this type of antenna. Okay, the correct answer is letter B, that is moniliform. Okay, next, we have number three. Ay, bakit hindi ako nag ng mga lectures? Kasi nga, rational lang to ng posters kung ano yung correct answer sa tanong. Ha, hindi pa ito yung ano talaga, yung sa final coaching. Yung sa final coaching, pag may tanong ganyan, tapos ano yung tamang sagot, may follow-up siya na lecture. Okay, number three. This type of antennae is found among scar beetles. The correct answer is letter D. It's lamellate. Okay. Number four. The cetaceous type of antennae is found among blank. The correct answer is letter C. Dragonflies. Okay. That is dragonflies. Nakakasunod po ba kayo? Okay, next. Number five. Headlines. Alin? Oh, yes, sir. Tapos na, sir. Okay. Number five. Headlines use this type of legs to anchor themselves on the host. Pag sinabing anchor, parang kumabit. Ganon. The correct answer is letter B. It's clinging. Okay, that is for headlines or kuto. Okay. Number six, in what type of insect development is the young stage known as naiad? The correct answer is letter B. It's hemimetabulus. Okay? The correct answer is hemimetabulus. Okay? Number seven, what type of insect development has larval and pupal stage? The correct answer is Letter D, holometabolus. Okay? Number eight. Which of the following rice pests possess chewing type of mouth parts during the destructive stage? Oh, ano daw yung passing insect? During the destructive stage, uh, destructive uh, possess chewing type, not chewing type. The correct answer is letter C, stem borer. Okay, next, number nine, which is not true of all insects. Alin daw sa uh, mga sumusunod or choices ang hindi totoo sa insects, no? The correct answer here is letter B. They have wings. Kasi hindi naman lahat ng insekto merong wings. Okay, number ten, this sensory organ is not found among insects. The correct answer is letter C, it's Chlesera. Chelesera. Okay, that's Chelesera. That is not found among in the insect. Okay, sensory organ. Hindi po yan sensory organ. Okay, number 11. The first segment of the insect antennae is the escape. Okay, number 12. The second segment of the insect antennae is called letter B, pedicel. Okay, if that is pedicel. Number 13, in the pursing sucking type of mouth parts, this component cannot be inserted into the host plant. Hence, it bends when the insect is feeding. Ibig sabihin, behind. Where's the word here? Sorry. Um, in the pursing sucking types of mouth parts, this component cannot be inserted in the host plant. So can, this component or part cannot be inserted. No, ibig sabihin na sa labas lang siya, it can be inserted. And then, it bends when the insect is feeding. Ibig sabihin, bend. Tulad ng ating bunga nga, nabibend. Pag kumakain tayo, nagbibend. So the correct answer is, labium. Letter D. Hala. Uh-uh, uh-uh. 
Okay, next, number 14. In the chewing type of mouth parts, this component cuts and grinds the food. O, oh, ito daw ang part daw ng ano, ng bunganga or ng, ng mouth, yung uh, nagka-grind, no, nagka-cuts ng food. The correct answer is, for number 14, the correct answer is mandible. No, it's letter B. It is mandible. Next, number 15. In the chewing type of mouth parts, this component is immediately behind the mandible. Ibig sa likod, ha? Maga tumutulong siya sa pagtulak, no? paghold, at saka pagtutulak ng food sa bunganga. Okay? Para pumasok doon sa bunganga. The correct answer for number 15 is letter C. That is maxilla. Kasi yung, la yung mandible sa harapan yan. Okay? Sa harapan. While the uh, maxilla sa likod po yan ng mandible. Okay? Next, we have number 16. This body region bears the legs and the wings of the insects. And the correct answer is letter B, that is thorax. Okay, that is thorax. Number 17, the basal segment of an insect leg. Pag sinabi mong ba uh, se basal segment, ibig sabihin yun yan ang kauna-unahang parte ng leg ng isang insect, which is attaches to the main uh, body parts ng isang uh, insecto, okay? Or sa shoulder, no? Or the, in the scapula. So the correct answer for that is letter D, that is coxa. That is coxa. Correct answer is letter D, which is coxa. Next, number 18, the opening to the respiratory system of an insect is cold. O, saan daw yung respiratory or saan daw humihinga? Yung insecto, the correct answer is letter C, that is spire call. Kasi di ba yung butas-butas na makikita ninyo doon sa ano, sa, 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 sa uh, abdomen, yun, ng insect, ang tawag po yung spire call, where the uh, circulatory of the respiratory system happening. Okay? Circulation of the respiratory system. Okay? And then number eight, 19, this body region bears the genitalia and visceral organ of the insect. The correct answer is the abdomen. Where can you see also the reproductive organs? Okay. Number 20, head and thorax combined is called. Ano daw tawag? When the head and thorax is combined. The correct answer is letter B. That's what we call cephalothorax. Okay, ang tawag po dyan ay cephalothorax. This is a type of, um, tulad ng mga spiders, arachnids, no? Uh, they have cephalothorax because the, the, the head and the thorax is being combined. Ang tawag po dyan ay cephalothorax. Kasi ang arachnid, ang arachnid, they are, they have only two division, which is the abdomen and then the cephalothorax or cephalothorax contain, or it has a head or combination with the head and the thorax, okay? And number 21, the following are weeds found in upland areas except, so alin sa sumusunod or sa choices ang hindi nakikita sa upland rice, uh, upland area, sorry. The correct answer is barnyard grass. Okay, it is barnyard grass. Next, number 22. A monocot weed is one with the blank. So do not mind this one, the system and the number sign of 39. Do not mind this, okay? So a monocot with is one is one with the correct answer is letter a it is a fibrous root system and leaves having parallel venation iba pag monocot tulad ng uh, rice that's example of monocot the root is fibrous and it's not a top root when you talk about it's, it's top root that is a dicotyledon we uh, that is a type of dicotyledon okay so when you talk about uh and also it is a broad leaves and it has it has a lot of uh, leaf vines no uh unlike monocot weed no it has a fibrous root no fibrous uh, makapal yung kanyang roots and then um 
yun, hairy, hairy, fibrous siya, and then um, parallel ang kanyang venation ng kanyang leads. Okay, pahaba. Like it's narrow tight. Okay, and then we have number 23, more than 95% of the weeds that infest crops come from, the correct answer is letter C, the soil. Okay, the correct answer is the soil. 90% no, of the weeds infest crops no, ay galing sa soil. Kasi dyan naman sila talaga nangunguna or nagde-develop. Okay, and then number 24, dyan sila din na-discover. Which of the following affect the degree of wheat crop competition? The correct answer here is all of the above. That is letter D. It competing ability of the dominant wheat species, competing ability of the crop, and crop spacing. Yun yung uh, nagiging dahilan kaya nagko-compete yung weed doon sa plants when it comes to the nutrition. And that's what we call allelopathy because allelopathy is something that the plants or weeds or the opponent providing chemicals or hormones or other um, uh, things na pwedeng ikamatay ng iyong major plant. Okay? And then we have number 25, which of the following reproduced by rhizomes. Iba yung rhizomes, that is how it's uh, reproduced, the dami. And then two bursts, uh, di ba nagtok na tayo? Pag sinabing rhizomes, uh, uh, it has also with the uh, grass and suggest meron din yan no and also pag sinabi natin tubers only for suggest pag tubers wala yan sa grasses okay so the correct answer is letter b that is purple nut sedge or also known as what is purple nut sedge number one the is it designer than dactylon i did it sorry Cyperus rotundus, sorry. <laughs> sorry, that is Cyperus rotundus. Letter C po na ito. Okay, Cyperus rotundus po yan. Sorry. Aww. Yan. <laughs> okay. Just yung ngam nila. Yan, number 26. With size. Oh, ayun. Parang may nag-comment ata. Yes, Justin. You raise your hand. Pwede po bang mag- So, yung kogon po ba? Ano po ba yung... Rhizome siya, rhizome. Rhizome po yan, rhizome. pero hindi po siya tubers. Hindi siya tubers. It's rhizomes. Ang kogon is a rhizomes but not tubers. Tubers is only for suggest. Okay? Next, we have 26. Which seeds are disseminated by... The correct answer is all of the above because it can be disseminated by wind, by human beings, and small animals. Okay? Tulad lang na sa tabi ko, small animals yan. Okay? <laughs> Rominant without bull. Uy, I have. I have. Okay, number 27. Allelophatic plants are those that secrets substances. Okay, so the correct answer for number 27 is letter a no that enhance or inhibit germination and growth of neighboring of plants okay so that's the correct answer next number 28 identification of weeds at the seedling stage is quite difficult because bucket. Bucket na hirap identify ang weeds. Dahil the correct answer is letter A because weeds belonging to the same family are very similar in the appearance at this age. Okay, kasi nga yung mga major plants natin pag nakita natin no in the, pag ano pa lang sa seedling stage no. And then pag sa planting ano na with your major plant. Alas magkaparehas, magka-equal yung kanilang appearances. That's why it is difficult to identify weeds. Okay? And then number 29, which among the following weed species reproduces by seed alone? The correct answer is Cynedrelia doneflora. Okay? No, deflora pala. Bulak. Ay, bulak ng weeds. Okay? That is 
nodiflora. Bakit siya weeds al seeds alone? Kasi nga this type of uh, weeds kasi it uh, it produces their its own ano oh, seeds. Tapos pag nahulog yung seeds niya, yun. Saka siya dadami. Okay? Number 30, which among the following weeds are spread easily by wind? No, alin daw dyan? The correct answer is letter C, Tridax procumbens. Okay? That is a Tridax procumbens. Number 31, integrated pest management does not encourage. The correct answer is frequent non-judicious use of pesticides. Kasi nga, when you talk about integrated pest management, there is a kuan, um, judicious or danger use of ano, uh, chemicals or uh, integrated pest. No? And then we have number 32, refers to the ability to endure pest attack without suffering from significant loss of yield. The correct answer for number 32 is tolerance. No? That is tolerance ability to endure pest attack without suffering yon kaya hindi siya nagsasuffer that is tolerance meron din tayong ability to endure um uh, disease no uh, attack by diseases or pathogens but it will not uh, it will not die no that is uh, immunity okay and then we have number 33 pest control method that includes tactics causing pests to contribute to the destruction of their own species. The correct answer is number of A, autosidal. Now, bakit autosidal? From the word itself, causing pests to contribute to the destruction of their own species. Yun. Kahit sila, sarili nila, ano, kas kasama sa sarili, uh, pamilyang species nila, the same species nila, pwede sila maging predator. Okay? Next, number 34, it is a type of a host resistance where insects exhibit abnormal development when they feed on resistant host. The correct answer is letter C, antibiosis. Okay? It's antibiosis. Next, Number 35, refers to the control of pests by living organisms under either natural or artificial circumstances. The correct answer is letter B, biological control. Okay, that is biological. Why is biological control? Because pests by living organisms under either natural or artificial circumstances. What is natural or artificial circumstances? That could be a biological or life that uh, life to life na ano uh, pest no control of pest uh, control of pest by living organism. The word is living organism, and that is referring to life. Okay, so that is biological control. Number thirty six refers to pests whose population equilibrium is always above always above the economic threshold level. The correct answer is key. Pest. Okay. The correct answer is key pest for number 36. Correct answer is always remember what are you going to remember there? No? Above. Always above the population, above the equilibrium. Above the equilibrium of the economic threshold level. Okay. What is the use of economic threshold level? It is to know kung yung plants mo ba or yung pag pagtatanim mo ba ay naapektuhan ba talaga ng maraming pesto or insekto. Ganon. Or may possible kasi na pag mataas masyado, nagkakaroon tayo ng uh, yield, uh, loss of yield. Uh, yield, yun. Mag yield loss or loss of yield, yun. Number 37 refers to the level of pest population or injury which indicates pot potential danger. The correct answer is letter C. It is warning threshold level. This is a warning threshold level, ah, not warming. That is warning threshold level. Okay? Number 38. Principle of crop protection where the host is manipulated to resist pest attack. Okay? The correct answer is 
immunization. Okay, bakit immunization? From the word itself, resist. No? Very resist. No, where the host is manipulated, manipulated. We na manipulate yung host, no? Parang kinokontrol and then they resist from it from its attack. So that's why it is immunization. That's the work of immunization in your body. Yan. Number 39, interaction between two organisms where both are adversely affected. Anong tawag niyan? The correct answer is competition. No, it's letter A. Okay? Number 40, it is a paste. It is a phase in the sequential development of crop protection, according to Smith, in 1969, which is characterized by serious pest outbreaks due to excessive use of pesticides, and finally, the collapse of pest control program. The correct answer for number 40 is letter D, that is disaster paste. Okay, disaster paste. Next, number 41, a concoction of lime, copper sulfate, and water, which had been accidentally found to possess fungicidal activity. Ano kaya yan? Actually, it was invented or discovered, okay? By, sino ang may-ari? Or sino naka-discovered yan? It was discovered by Burdex. Kaya tinawag siyang Burdex yes. mixture, Okay? Number 42, the principle of pest exclusion means, pag sinabi principle of pest exclusion, uh, yun, dapat exclusion ibig sabihin, inaalis mo siya, ina-exclude mo siya, tinatanggal mo. Correct answer is letter C, keeping pests away from the host. Kasi the reason why there is a spreading of diseases because of the active living host. Okay? Next, number 43. It refers to the population or injury level of pests where a pest control method should be initiated in order to prevent significant economic loss. What is your keyword there? The word is pest control should be initiated. Yon. Yeah, sorry, initiated in order to prevent. Okay, initiated in order to prevent significant economic loss. The correct answer for number 43 is letter B, that is economic threshold level. So yun, malalaman mo kung ano ang level ng uh, uh, plants that is already affected by the pathogens or insects. Ayan, number 44, the following attributes of modern agriculture aggravates pests and disease problems. Number 44, the correct answer is all of the above, okay? It is continuous monoculture. It is use of uh, high-yielding varieties and excessive use of chemical inputs. Now, that could be attributes of modern agriculture that aggravate the pest and disease problems, no? Kaya nga, di ba, pag nagtatanim tayo, dapat nagtatanim tayo ng mga high-quality variety of crops. Yun. And then we follow the uh, method no, in plantings. And we have number 45, a legal actions intended to exclude potential pests. Your legal actions, anong mga dapat gawin in legal way? To exclude potential pests and to prevent spread of those already present. Yun. The correct answer is quarantine. That's letter D. No? That is the legal actions to do no, uh, to prevent the spreading of the diseases. Okay, number 46, which of the following is not an insecticide? The correct answer is malatrin because malatrin is a, have you ano, uh, encounter malatrin? Si Sir Brian, naka-encounter ka na ba ng malatrin? Wala, wala pa, Sir ba? Wala pa? Si Sir, si Ma'am Job. Malatrin or malatayon? Wala pa, Sir. Wala pa. Hindi ba yung sa ano, Sir? Yung makuha sa ano, Sir, sa dahon? Yung mm -hmm. kina ano, kina... 
kinatanim sa paligid parang ano uh, ang tawag niya Malatrin, malatayon. Pwede ba sir? Organo phosphate insecticide that is commonly used to control mosquitoes and a variety of insects. Sir? Okay. Yes. Di ba sir, ang malatayon is, uh, is eh, ano, insects, insecticide? Check natin ha. Malatayon, cyclometrin. May narinig din ako, Andrin, na hindi siya. Based on the most commonly uh, used pesticides in the Philippines. Kasi yung Andrin, that's not a... Alam ko talaga, hindi siya insecticide. How come na ano, sir? How come ah, okay. na hindi insecticide ang malatayan? Cypermetrin. Merong cypermetrin, actually. Permetrin. Ay, okay. Organic compound with the chemical formula that was produced in Shell and the source chemical corporations. Uh, insecticide nga talaga siya, ang endrin. Kasi meron din yung ginagamit yung parang sa ano, sa, sa fish. And then, cypermetrin. Ano ito yung cypermetrin? Actually, yung ano, yung met, um, meletrin, that is a organophosphate na insecticide. Hindi na... Cypermetrin. Tignan natin ha. Insecticide din siya. Cypermetrin is a synthetic process of a synthetic insecticide. Okay. How about permetrin? Tignan natin. Check natin ha. Insecticide din siya ng permetrin eh. Insecticide din siya. So actually, among the choices given, yung malatrin yung kakaiba because it is an organic, it is a man-made organic organophosphate na ano na chemical component. So the correct answer there is letter B. So yung kakaiba among the uh, choices. Okay? Number 47. Which of the following is a systematic fungicide? Okay? The correct answer is letter A that is metalaxyl. Okay? Number 48. Which of the following crop is heavy user of fungicide worldwide? Sino? The correct answer is apple. That is letter B, apple. Number 49. Which of these pesticide groups is excessively used in the Philippines? So the correct answer is letter B, pinakamadami. That is insecticides. Okay? Number 50. Effective physical pest control action. The correct answer is flooding. Kasi physical ang term. Kasi ang bagging is not a physical. That is a mechanical. Hand picking is mechanical. Herding is mechanical. Flooding is a physical pest control. Okay? Number 51. An epidemic is more likely to occur when the correct answer is all of the above. Okay? There is a monocropping of a single variety of a wide area kaya nagkakaroon epidemic. And then plants are predisposed by excessive fertilization or injuries. And then the environment is favorable for disease development. That's why the disease is spreading. Okay? The correct answer is all of the above. Number 52, the prevention of a uh, new pathogen from being introduced into a locality where it is currently unknown to occur is the principle of exclusion. Kasi nga, hindi pa siya known doon, hindi pa siya registered doon. Okay? Ina-exclude mo siya, tinatanggal mo siya. Di ba yung mga, mga hindi naman na-invite pag my birthday, palisin niyo yun, that is exclusion. Okay, number 53, establishment of physical or chemical barriers to avoid contact of the pathogens and the crops is the principle of protection. There is a protection happening. Number 54, 
the principle that aims to eliminate pathogens that have become established in an area. The correct answer is eradication. Okay, that is eradication. Next, number 55, modification of certain physiological or physical features of the host so that it can repel infection as in breeding for disease resistance. The correct answer is letter D, immunization. At yung ginagawa natin, di ba? Before we breed, we should know if the, ano, if the plants for breeding, ready for breeding, is immunized, not being immunized, or ready for the ano, uh, genetic transfer. Yun. And we have number 56, a highly effective fungicide accidentally discovered by... Uh, inulit lang natin yung tanong. The correct answer is Bordeaux mixture. Okay? Number 57, a rice tung row can be effectively managed by application of insecticide. In this case, disease management is achieved through, the correct answer is controlling the vector. Alam nyo na, ang ano ba yung rice tung row? That is a virus. Okay, rice tung row is a virus. It is caused by a hopper. So, dapat... Para makontrol ninyo siya, kailangan i-control ninyo yung vector. Pag walang vector, walang spreading of the diseases. Okay? Number 58, an air pollutant is any factor mediated by the atmosphere that causes an unwanted, which is not an air pollutant. The correct answer is chicken dung. Because among the choices given, A, B, and C, they are a uh, chemical component that affecting our biodiversity and also uh, cannot be helpful to our air pollution. Unlike chicken dung can be also helpful to our uh, uh, environment and also to our soil or soil. Soil. Bishosa? <laughs> Number 59. The presence of O's from the infected tissue is what we call bacterial. Okay? That is a bacterial. Hindi lahat ng O's ay fungi, ha? Hindi lahat ng O's. Pwede pa sabi natin oospores. Yun, that's a fungi, but not O's. O's is a infected tissue sign of bacteria. Number 60, the components of the disease pyramid are, correct answer is, Pathogen, host, environment, time, in human intervention. Okay? Number 61. Famous downy mildew of corn, which is the Peronosclerospora philippinensis, can be effectively controlled by, the correct answer is letter B, a seed treatment with apron. Number 62, in disease assessment, this is the, prop the proportion of plant units disease in relation to the total number of units examined. Okay, the correct answer is the incidence. That's also what we call incidence report. Okay, actually that is the incidence report. Tawag din dyan ay incidence report. If you are a research assistant, you will encounter this, okay? That is an incidence report. So yeah, incidence report po ang tawag dyan. Okay? Next, number 63. This is a phenomenon where the pathogen spreads to and affects many individuals within the population within the population over a relatively large area within a short period of time. Ibig mabilis ang kanyang spreading of the diseases. The correct answer is epidemic to COVID. Ayun. Number 64. Pandemic naman pag globally. Kaso within the population, within the uh, country, that is epidemic. Pero paglabas na, that is already a pandemic. 
globalization. 64. The widespread distribution of club root disease of cabbage in the mountain province can be attribute, at, uh, attributed through to the correct answer is wet and humid condition in the area. Ayan. Number 65. Coconut planting materials from the Bicol region are subjected under quarantine to manage this disease. The correct answer is kadang-kadang disease. Okay. Uh, sir, anong sagot sa na 64? A. Ah, tama. Okay. Thank you. Masamida. Number 66. Following. Oh, ano yung Following. Iniiwanan, babalikan ka lang pagkailangan ka na. Yan. Following the field can control diseases in crops by. Ano yung nangyayari? It nagre-reduce ng amount of initial enuculum ng isang diseases. Okay? Initially. Number 67. Some diseases may not be visible. When the fruit is still unripe, mm. but begin to manifest its symptoms. Oh, hindi pa siya inog, nagkakaroon na ng symptoms. When ripening has commenced, this is explained, exemplified by. Oh, saan yan usually nangyayari? Hindi pa na inog. No. Akala mo, ano na, ay inog na siya, pero hindi pa siya, hilaw pa siya because of the uh, symptoms that manifest in the fruits. The correct answer for this question is letter A, stem and rot of avocado. Okay? Number 68. Geneticists and plant breeders may change the disease reaction of a plant to make it resistant to a pathogen. This principle is called blank. The correct answer is letter B. Immunization. Okay, that is immunization. Kasi resistant, oh. Make it resistant. Number 69. The correct answer here is letter C. Okay, so I will send, I will be sending the computation of this C. to GC. Okay. Mali na ang computation. Number 70. The correct answer is Letter A. Okay, I will send the computation now sa GC para makita ninyo, ha? Okay, computation is already been sent sa GC. Kindly check kung paano siya kinompute. Yung number 69, okay, the total liter of the water, that is 200 liter, okay, per spray, and then divided by mo sa tatlong trees, no, is equals to 66.67 liter per spray. And then we have 66.67, okay, per uh, liter per spray, it times mo na sa five sprays or sprays, yun. That will give you 333.35 liter. Okay? And then, let's now proceed to the cost. Oh, cost na tayo. Kasi magkano. Tinatanong kung magkano. So, cost. That is 1,400. Okay? 1,400 per liter. Okay? So, ngayon, times natin sa 1 liter. And that will give you, <clears throat> divide natin sa 200 liter. Then, times natin sa 333.35 liter. And that will give you 2,333.45. Okay. Now, let's proceed to the cost of MBA 54. Okay. Cost of MBA 54. Tinatanong kasi dito kung yung total cost. Ilan lahat yung magagastos. Okay. Now, proceed to the total cost. Uh, no, to the cost of MBA. Yung kanina... BIFGR, ang cost na yon. That is 1,400 1, per liter, right? Now, sa MBA 54 naman, 
Ang cost is 25 pesos per liter. Tapos merong 6 liters na recommendation. Okay? 6 uh, liters and divide natin sa 200 liters. Okay? And that will give you... Sorry, that will give you... Uh, times natin sa 333.35 liters and that will give you 250.0125. And then now let's proceed to the total cost. How you're going to do it? You are going to add 2,333.45 plus 250.0125 and that will give you 2,583.4625. Wala naman sa choices. So you are going to round it off. Okay, round it off, and that will give you 2,583.50. So that's the correct answer. Sino nag-send yan? Ako'y pat, ako'y chat na. Tumago na ko na. Okay, next. We have number 17. We have a uh, given cost of MBA 54 is equals that's the given ha 25 pesos per liter. Okay, so the required MBA 54 per drum is equals to 6 liter. As you can see here, we have 25 per liter and 6 liters per drum. Okay, and then we have number of mango tree. Number of mango tree. Sana yan. And some number of mango tree is 3. Yan. If 3, yan. Ang tanong. Okay, so that's the given. So that question where one drum is equals to 200 liters. We know that, ha? In one drum, the conversion of one drum is equivalent to 200 liters. Oh, you always put that in your mind. Okay? Sa isang drum, ilang litro? 200 litro meron sa isang drum. Okay? Now, let's convert it. Okay, let's convert. We have 25 pesos. Okay, kasi liter nga siya, tanggalin natin, kailangan natin tanggalin yung liter. So we have uh, 25, okay, divided by natin yung 1 liter times the 6 liter divided by 1 drum. Okay, times 1 drum divided by the mango tree, 3 mango tree. Okay, kasi tinatanong kung ilan, kung magkano per mango tree. So now that will give you 150 pesos and divide mo sa 3 mango tree. Okay? And that will give you 50 pesos each of the mango tree. Oh. Merong 50 pesos each of the mango tree. So that's the correct answer. Oh. Sino nakakuha ng tamang sagot dyan? Sige daw, best. Sino nakakuha ng tamang sagot? Tasa kamay. Si Ma'am Jo, very good. Oh, Jason, very good. O, yung sa taas, kanina, sa 69, sino nakakuha ng tamang sagot? Yan, Jason, very good. Si Ma'am Job din, nakakuha ng tamang sagot. So, that's the correct answer. Madali lang yan i-compute. Kasi conversion lang yan. Okay? And then, we have number 71. I will give you more um, computation of this next Saturday. Because next Saturday, you, should, you will be having another... Uh, crop protection post test. That would be 200 items. Oh, sir, bakit puro question-question na tayo, guys? Malapit ang board exam. Wala na tayong lecture-lecture ngayon. Puro na tayo puan. Exam-exam. Uh, okay? There will be more. I will be giving you a uh, 20 items. Puro computation lahat. And I will require everyone to use their calculators. Sure. Okay, meron naman calculator ready na parang yung tayo. I calculate na pala kayo next Saturday. 50, so, sir. Pwede mong 50? Pwede mong 50? Hi, Bishosa. <laughs> Sige, try natin ang 50 items na computation. 50 items na computation, 150 items na principles, entom, with signs. Ano? Go kayo sa mga go dyan. React naman. Kasi gagawin ko din yan sa face-to-face -face para mabuhay sila. <laughs> 50 lang ako, sorry. Ay, mga basic lang, sir. Kung naman masyadong... Ay, nga ganyan. Tulad nga ganyan. Basic lang naman yan, eh. Baka kung may dumugoy yung utak namin. 
Wala naman yung formula. There's no specific formula. All you later on, eh, parang may nakuse. If later on tuluan tama mo kung paunsa na siya gikompute ug maayo, ha? Kasi ano yan eh, understanding the question. It's not about the formula. It's understanding the question so that you can make your own formula. Yeah, that's true. Okay? Diba? Ganyan yan, Jay? Yes, sir. Ano yung mga salikod ko, Jay, mumu? Sorry na, ikaw nang red. Insect. Number 71. The correct answer for this is letter A, ergot. That is ergot. Kasi wala mo kay answer. Deserve. Number 72. The correct answer is letter B, rats and cause plague. O oh, sige. Gagawa ko ng video kung paano yun siya kinompute ha. Ulitin ko talaga paano siya i-compute. Gagawa ko ng video tapos i-post ko na lang sa YouTube para mas ano, mas maintindihan. Okay? Number 73. Parang lang yan nagko-compute ka ng business math. Yun. Number 73, the correct answer for this is letter A, economic injury level. Yun. Economic injury level. Next number, 74. Letter B, Integrated Pest Management. That is Integrated Pest Management. Okay? Ang word yan, Pest with the ultimate goal of population management. Minimize damage. Yan ang mga link word. Number, 75. A control method. Whereby synthetic toxic substances. Alam niyo na agad yan. That is chemical control. Kaya sinasabi ko sa inyo, pag synthetic, chemical na yan. Okay? Baka ngayon, pag sinabing bioactive, ang isasagot niyo yung biocontrol, bioactive plant is also a chemical or synthetic control. Okay? Number 76. An unwanted organism which competes with man for food, shelter, or threatens their health, comfort, and welfare. The correct answer is pest. Pest. Okay? How to pronounce it? It's pest. Okay? It's pest. Okay? Next, number 77. Actually, lahat naman ang choices na yan, they are unwanted. They are unwanted, but they are referring to the unwanted organism, okay, which competes with the man for food. Though wheat can also compete for the man for food, for shelter, it's not even helping. Pede namin this, let's say, sa wheat, okay, yun. And then threatens their health, comfort, or welfare. So welfare ni naman ang wheat don. So that is a pest. Okay, sa health, pagdating sa health, talaga pest yun. Actually, lahat naman ng wheat, ng wheat kasi are ano, oh, are beneficial. Ah, hindi naman lahat pala ng weed are beneficial. Some of them are beneficial. Nakakatulong sa pagpapaba ng high blood kasi puro kayo karne. Next, number 77. A serious pest species that occurs perennially. Oh, wag nyo na, wag nyo na ano yun yung ano, oh, AMP, AMP. Regularly limits crop productivity. The correct answer is letter B, key pest. It's key pest. How do how are you going to pronounce it? Key pest. Yeah. Number seventy-eight. A pest that occurs at infrequent intervals and causes damage, economic damage, only at a certain time and place. The correct answer is letter A. Occasionally, pest. That is occasionally, pest. Okay. Number seventy-nine, a kind of pest that has no significant damage or no significant damage under prevailing agro ecosystem, but might bring or might bring palang word ha might bring about damage with a change in crop and cultural practices. Might bring ibig sabi 
Baka pwedeng magdala. Yun. The correct answer is potential test. Pag potential test pala, ibig sabihin, may possible na pwede siyang magdala ng test eh. Sa, yun, basta test, sa plots. Okay? Number 80, the relative amount of heritable qualities in plants that influences the ultimate degree of damage by the pest. The correct answer is letter A, host plant resistance. Okay? Number 81, the man directed control of insect pests by employing of natural enemies. Buhay po yan. That is letter C, biological control. Kasi ang word na biological from the word itself, bio, meaning buhay. Ayan. Yes, as predators, ganoon. Number 82, a control method that utilizes suitable agronomic practices to reduce pest population. Suitable agronomic practices method of Farming system. That is actually a con cultural control. Okay, that is letter B. Number 83, the term given for crop destruction, injury, or loss of value caused by feeding activity of different pests. That's what we call pest infestation. Okay, that is pest infestation. Okay, next. Number 84, a kind of damage caused by the feeding of an insect through the removal of plant sap, removal, or plant parts in contrast with the damage caused by the disease transmitting insects. What do you call that? That's what they call indirect damage. Kasi nga, nire-remove ang plant sap bago siya makapasok sa loob. That is indirect damage. Yung mga direct damage, yung type ng uh, transmitting type of, uh, hindi siya transmitting type of insects. Directly, dinadamage niya yung uh, plants. Okay? Number 85. The pest density at which artificial control measures should be applied to prevent pest population increase or pest outbreak. Artificial control measures. The correct answer is letter C, economic threshold level. Okay? Number 86, a toxic substance which is readily available and kills pests instantly or madalian. Okay? The correct pest, ha, pest yan. That is peste. Yun, pest, pest, peste. Pesticides. Oh, that's the link word. Okay? 87. An insect that feeds on a number of unrelated species of plants. The correct answer is polypagus. Poly from the word itself, marame, kasi the word is number of unrelated species. Ibig sabihin madami. Hindi siya nag-iisa. Okay? Next, number 88. A biological control agent that consumes many prey in its life. Time. Ayun. The correct answer is predator. Yun. Ang tawag sa biological control na yan ay predator. Kasi nga, kinakain niya. Ako, kainin ko si Jason. Charat. Predator ako ni Jason. <laughs> yan. Sir, Kinakain. sobra na yan ah. Gusto, gusto mo din. Sobra na yan, sir. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Number 89. The collective term for parasitic and predatory insects. O, anong tawag dyan? That is entopagus insects. Oh, parasitic and predatory insects. Yan ang tawag sa collective term niya. Number 90, a biological control organism that usually lives inside the body of its host and consumes only one host to complete its life cycle. The correct answer is parasite. Okay, that is letter A, parasite. Okay. Number 91, the symptoms of stem borer damage during the reproductive stage of the rice plant characterized by the appearance of full particles of unfilled grains. The correct answer is letter B, that is white head. Okay. Number 92, the symptom of yellowing and wilting of the youngest leaf, youngest leaf, kanina is reproductive, 
stage. Okay, this one is youngest lift, no? Results in the vegetative stage. No stemmer larvae during the vegetative stage. That's what we call A, dead heart. Okay, ito po yan, tamag po dyan ay dead heart. Number 93, the growth stages of the rice plant that is or are most preferred by the rice bug. The correct answer is letter D, both B and C, both soft doubt uh, stage and then milk stage. Ayan. Number 94, the most destructive avian pest that attacks rice and other small grains. Correct answer is letter A, Philippine weaver or Maya. Yan, alam nyo na yan. Number 95, a vertebrate pest. Pag sabi vertebrate, merong, merong buto. O, lumabas ito sa board exam, ha? Lumabas ito sa board exam. Which is a problem in crop production in which usually de demands a unified, coordinate, and sustained community actions for its effective control. So the correct answer is rudens. Okay? Birds is also a vertebrate pest. Snakes is not a vertebrate pest. That is invertebrate pest. No? Kaso the word is perennial problem in crop productions. Hindi naman perennial problem ang birds. Only in the rice. Yun. Seasonal nga lang. Yun. Crocodile is not a pest but it is a uh, vertebrate type of uh, pest. Okay? And we have 96, a serious pest of corn. Corn po yan. That attacks all parts of the plant except the roots. The correct answer for this is letter A. It's cutworm. Yan, inuubos niya ang stem, panicles, at saka sa may uh, crown part. 97, a homopteran insect, pest that transmit the Tongro virus disease is also known as green leaf hopper. Sinabi ko na sa inyo, GLH or green leaf hopper or nepetotic nepotetics varicens is the one that transmitting Tongro virus diseases. Okay? Number 98, substances such as sex pheromones that lure insects, lure, you cannot control or manipulate, and can be used as means of control. Anong tawag doon? Or hindi pinapahilo. The correct answer is letter C, repellents. Ayun. That is repellents. Number 99, includes all adverse effects exerted by the plant on the insect survival, development, and reproduction. The correct answer is antibiosis. That is letter A. Number 100. The toxic component of a pesticide is also known as AI or active ingredient. Yun. Di ba meron yun? 50 AI. Active ingredient po ang tawag dun. Okay? Ganito yung makikita ninyo. A tapos uh, A that, tapos I. So ganyan po yung makikita ninyo. Ha? So, ayan. Ganyan po yung makikita ninyo. A, tapos, I. Ayan. A, I. That is active ingredient. Okay? Number 101. An insecticide that is absorbed by and translocated in the plant and the insect acquire the, po the poison through feeding. Okay? The correct answer for that is... Letter C is systemic insecticide. Okay? Kasi true feeding nilalagay mo sa pagkain. Yun. 102. A liquid pesticide formulation that does not dissolve in water but is dissolved in organic solvents. The correct answer is emulsifiable concentrate. Correct answer is letter A. Emulsifiable concentrate. Okay, 103, a solid pesticide, solid, big sabihin malaki, formulation, applow, applied, undiluted, no, buo pa siya, where the active ingredient is combined with inert ingredients such as clay to form particles about, about the size of coarse sugar, malaki. The correct answer is granule, malalaki, yun. The third, D.
Unread 4, pesticides category symbolizes by a red band and skull and crossbones. Yun ang tawag ang high or the extreme. Correct answer is letter A, category 1. 105, which is not an expression of active unit in pesticide labels. The correct answer is PPM because PPM is for food, not for active ingredient. Okay. And we have 106, a universally accepted name given a pesticide by an appropriate professional organization. Tawag po dyan ay common name. Now you are giving common name to easily identify. Okay. 107, who is credited for laying the foundation of chemical control of plant diseases? The correct answer is letter A, Melardet. Okay, that is Melardet. 108, what is or are the first diseases to be studied in the country, in the Philippines? The first diseases is the Hemelia bastratix and Pythoptera palmivora. Yan po yung kauna-unahan. Okay, 109, who is the first head of the Department of Plant Pathology at UP College of Agriculture? Sino? It is letter D, OT Rinking. Siya po yung kauna-unahang uh, uh, head ng Department of the Plant Pathology in the UP College of Agriculture. Next, we have 110, who is the Dean of Filipino Plant Pathology? That is Ocfemia, because of his... Uh, contribution. Okay. 111, it is a harmful alteration of the normal physiology, physiology and biochemical development of a plant. The correct answer is letter C, disease. Harmful alteration, normal physiology, and biochemical development of a plant. That is disease. 112, This refers to the quantitative amount of disease that an isolate. Pag isolate, automatic virulence yan. Pag isolate na pinag-uusapan. 113, it is a symptom expressed by the occurrence of excessive multiplication, enlargement of overdevelopment of plant organ. Enlargement. The correct answer okay. is hyperplastic Hyper. symptoms. Human. Lumake, nag-swell. 114, it is a term applied to the sudden death of young buds, inflorescence, or young fruits. The correct answer is blast. Word is sudden of young buds, sudden death. 115, it is the rooting or rotting of seedlings prior to emergence or rotting of seedling stems at an area just above the soil line. The correct is dumping off. Rating, rating of seedlings prior to emergence. Yan lang tandaan mo. Okay? 116, it is an often sunking necrotic area, sunking necrotic area with crack border, crack border, and appear in leaves, fruits, stems, and branches. What's it called? Canker. Letter C. That is canker. Number 117, it is the disintegration and decomposition of host tissue. The correct answer is rotting. Okay? That is rotting. Number 118. It is slightly raised, rough, ulcer-like, no? ulcer-like lesions. Due to the overgrowth of epidermal and cortical tissue accompanied with rupturing and sulfurization of cell walls. The correct answer is letter B, scab. Scab. 119, this refers to the structures of the plant pathogen that are found associated with the infected plant part. The correct answer is letter B. Initially, palang kasi yan siya. Pathogens that are found associated with the infected plant part. Okay? 120. <clears throat> Causal agent of soft, uh, soft rot vegetables. The correct answer is letter B. Pectobacterium carotoborum. Carotobor. 
121, ikaw sa agent of bacterial wealth of tomato. That is letter C, Ralstonia solidisario. One twenty-two, a causal agent of bacteria blight of rice. That is letter B, Santomonas or Rosea or Rosea. Hundred twenty-three causes fire blight of apples and pears. That is Rovernia amylovora. Um, the genus itself, amylo. That is apples and pears. Okay. One twenty-four. Not found in the cell envelope, envelope of gram-positive bacteria. That is outer membrane. Hindi siya nakikita sa envelope of gram-positive bacteria. Okay? <clears throat> 125. Di ba pinag-usapan natin yung differences ng gram-positive at negative positive. Uh, gram-negative. No? 125. Metabolic pathway that converts glucose to pyruvate. Glycolysis. Or a letter A. Glycolysis. Okay, 126, also called citric acid cycle or CAC. The correct answer is letter C, tricarb tricarboxylic acid cycle. 127, organisms that can use carbon dioxide as their sole principal sources of carbon. The correct answer is letter A, autotrophs. Carbon oh, dioxide. Source of food. 128. Organisms that use reduced perform organic molecules as carbon sources. So, organic molecules naman itong saka 128. The correct answer is heterotrophs. Letter C. One twenty nine. A micronutrient that is needed. By bacteria in small amount. The correct answer is manganese. Letter C. 130. A microbial product other than an enzyme which causes obvious damage to plant tissues and which is known with, with reasonable confidence to be involved in the in disease development. Okay. The correct answer is phytotoxin. 131. Hyperoxiny is the accumulation of unusually high concentration of correct answer is endol acetic acid. Okay? 132. Hormone involved in fruit ripening? Ethylene. 133. Clustering of roots, flowers, fruits, or twigs around a common focus. The correct answer is passation. 134. A plant overgrowth due to abnormal cell enlargement. Abnormal cell enlargement, lumake. Letter A, hypertrophy. Okay. Number 135, fungi like aspergillus, flavus, and um, a parasiticus infecting cereal and legume seeds produce a carcinogenic toxin, which is a flatoxin. That is letter B. 136. Which among the following phyla belongs to the kingdom of true fungi? That is letter B, zygomycota. One thirty-seven fungi belonging to class oomycetes are co commonly called the letter D, downy mildew fungi. That is a downy mildew fungi. 138, a known non-spore forming fungus is Rhizoctonia. One thirty-nine, the asexual stage of fungi is also known as the anaporp stage. That is an anaporp stage. One hundred forty-four, the fungal enucula. 
that initiate rust disease outbreak in the tropics are the A, your red spores. 141. A fungus merely covering the surface of the plant without necessarily, necessarily parasitizing it. The correct answer is letter A, sooty mold. Sooty mold. Okay. 142. From the site of inoculation, plant viruses spread through the plant in a slow cell-to-cell -cell spread through the plasmodesmata. Ito talaga sa viruses to. Okay? Kasi cell-to-cell -cell yan sila. Tumadaan sa plasmodesmata, yung parang bridge. Okay, yon. 143. Which of the following is a barrier to virus movement through the plant? Barrier. The correct answer is letter A. A movement from the first infected cell. Okay? Kasi pag, actually, pag, pag ano yun eh, pag pinastop mo yun, or patayin mo yung first infected cell, pag nagkaroon ng wall or barriers yun, hindi na ma-affect wala, kasi wala, wala, kasi wala nang host. Ganon. Hanapin mo talaga yung pinaka-host niya. Which are vectors? Which virus would most likely survive? Okay? The correct answer is letter B. A virus that causes as only mild or moderate diseases that allows the plant to survive and reproductive effectively. Yun. Hinahinay, slowly but surely mamamatay. Yun. Number 145, which of the following would not contribute to plant virus disease epidemics? Correct answer is multi-wrapping. Next, 146. Rouging as a virus disease control strategy is worthwhile or effective if disease spread. The correct answer is letter B, occurring slowly relative to the lifetime of the crop. Yeah. 147, a seed infected with a virus is an important source of infection since the seed introduces. The correct answer is letter A, a virus into the crop at a very early stage. Yeah. 148, which of the following mediates the synthesis of RNA from a viral RNA template? The correct answer is letter C, RNA-dependent RNA polymers, polymer, polymerase. Next, 149, the study of reaction of antibody and antigen In vitro, ang tawag po dyan ay hematology. Okay? Ang tawag po dyan ay hematology. Iba po yung immunology, ha? It talks about the immune system. Okay? Yung paano yung prevention. While this one, antibody, antigen, yung hema-hema ang tawag dyan, hematology. 150, with the use of insecticide to control a personally transmitted plant virus, the following is our or not expected effects. No reduction of disease spread. So that is the correct answer. Letter D. So may I know who no, got sir, many your scores? Yes. Pwede po bang makahingi ng answer sa ano po? Sa number 2, 3? Number 2 and 3. The correct answer yes, for number 2 is letter B, moniliform. Number 3 mm -hmm. is letter D, lamellate. Number seven po, sir. Number seven is letter D, holo, metabolus. Number 17 to 20 po, sir. Nakawala kasi yung connection ko, sir. Number 17, it's letter D, coxa. Number 18, 18, 18 letter C, spiracol. Number 19, letter C, abdomen. Number 20, letter B, cephalothorax. Number 29 po, sir. 29, letter D, cynidrelia nodiflora. Number 49 to 50. Okay, 49 and 50. Letter B, insecticides. Number 50, letter D, flooding. 
Tapos, number 109 to 113. 109. Letter D, auto ranking. 110. Wait lang ha. 110 is letter B, Gerardo Ocfemia. 112, letter C, disease. Number 11, 111, sir. Yes. Disease. 112, letter A, virulence. Number 13. 113, letter B, hyperplastic. Thank you, sir. Thank you po, sir. Okay, sino pa dyan ang may concern? Chili, number 66 is letter B. Thank you, sir. Sino pa dyan? Uh, account na ng scores. And then, pakipost na sa, ano, sa chat pagkatapos, ha? Magwa-water break mo na si So Seng Nim. So Seng Nim. So Seng Nim. Very good. Very good. Si Brian, ilan ang score mo, Brian? Gemaline? Very good. Okay. So, ayan. Thank you very much, everyone. And next naman, next Saturday, meron na naman tayong another post test. And that will be okay, 20 items post test. Okay? At 20, 200 items. Damihan natin ng computation. O, gagawa ako ng um, video niyan. Tapos, isit ano ko sa YouTube para ma-access ano, ninyo, ma ninyo. Ha? Next Sunday, sir. Next Saturday po, next Saturday. Okay. Kasi ang Sunday natin is, ano na naman yun, um, uh, extension na naman. So, extension na naman tayo by Sunday. Are we done with crop, sir? With the? Sa crop science. Actually, tapos na tayo sa crop science. Meron lang mga topic na hindi natin na-discuss. Pero mga madali lang naman yun eh. And that will be discussed during the final coaching na lang. Papasada ko na lang yun. Yun. So, Ayan, very good. Actually, if you got 80 above score, so, yan. <clears throat> yan, si Sir John Ray po, yan, nanonood lang siya sa YouTube ko, uh, YouTube, cha YouTube channel ko ng, ano, ng, ng mga videos, ayun. So, thank you very much, Sir John Ray, for watching my videos sa YouTube. <laughs> ayan, tapos nag, ano siya, nag-inquire siya. Actually, they are enrolled students po, Sir John. Mag-chat na lang tayo, Sir John. They are enrolled students, that's why they, what, that's why naka-inform yan sila sa GC. And actually, we are um, opening it for the enrollment for the Ultimate Final Coaching. Ayun, so, if you got 80 and above, yes, come sama, ne, come sama da. Ayun, so if you got 80 above, it means that there's a possibility, no? Uh, malaki chances natin to pass the 
uh, crop protection. Okay? So, medyo doon lang tayo sa ano, calculation na konti lang. So, no worries kasi next uh, Saturday, review that questions kasi next Saturday we will have a 200 items post test. And 50 items of that will be computations and then 150 will be more on uh, terminologies, principles, and methods. Yan. Okay? Still, technicalities, technicalities and doon pa rin yung tanong ng technicalities. Okay, so congratulations to Jason for getting 101. Okay, Chukahamida. And we have Chili Lagos, 94. Chukahamida. Erica Joy, very good, 105. Job Dole, 96. Very good. Justin, I got 117. Oh, kapit na makapasa girl. 120 yung passing score, pero that's good. Very good na yan, excellent. Brian got 89. Very good. Ayan. So, ayun, everyone. Congratulations. Chukaham nila. And thank you for being with me tonight. And again, see you.